seven five million. Next up, Connor Sheary from Washington. Okay, so it's sorted by a uh, cap hit. So we have all of our nine cap players on our forwards. So now we're moving to pick up, uh, you know, pick up some scraps. <laughs> all right, uh, who are we getting? Connor Sheary. All right. Uh, no, they did not have Ovechkin exposed, did they? They did. They did. That's right. I forgot because it was basically like. Well, he wasn't actually exposed, but like his his cap hit or something like that. I forget exactly what's happening, but there was there was something going on with Ovechkin. Okay, now we're getting uh, Richard Bannock from the New York Islanders. Again, I just this is the 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 draft I put out. I made the video of predicting. So I just I'm. As soon as I got this game, this was kind of like the first thing I thought of, you know, um, just doing, because it seemed like a really, really fun idea. Toronto, we got the Wayne train. I'm surprised I didn't go for uh, Zach Hyman there. Alright, Wayne Simmons. I should take Zach Hyman, but I ended up taking... Wayne Simmons in the video, so I have to go with that. Uh, Mason Appleton from Winnipeg. All right, Mason Appleton, who I think was a, yeah, he was a player that uh, they actually did take. Twenty-five years old, less than a million dollars. Like that's that's a great one there. Blake Lasat from the Kings. Alright, LA Kings, here we go. Lasat right here. Twenty-three years old, a center. Okay, and then Brock McGinn from the Carolina Hurricanes. Just grabbing all all of the forwards right now. There's Brock McGinn. Then we're taking Barclay Goodrow from the New York Rangers. And I might have to adjust some of these picks if I run into cap issues because I noticed on the the tool I used, I think it was from Cap Friendly, um, the guys who had expired contracts did not actually count against the cap. So if that ends up being an issue here, I will um, rectify that. Let's go Nick Ritchie. And then finally, Vinny Anastroza from the uh, Blackhawks, and that will end our forwards selections. I do have to say that the menus are quite a bit slower compared to uh, NHL 21. We're moving to Calgary, and you know who we're picking up here. We're picking up Giordano. Alright, and then we go to Carson Soucy from the Minnesota Wild. So we're on to defense now. Alright, Carson Soucy, 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 right there. Only 26 years of age. And then we get Red. Simic from the San Jose Sharks. So I think our defense might end up being a little bit lighter than the um, the real life Kraken went. They went a little defense heavy, but I think our forward group should be better. Troy Stetcher from Detroit. Troy Stetcher. Right there. 27 years old, $1.7 million. Robert Hag from Philadelphia. Robert Hag. Alright. It's a. Uh, I wish they listed them alphabetically, but uh, unfortunately they're listed by cap hit. So. Right there, Robert Hag. Yeah, these menus are. Super laggy, super, super laggy. Aiden Flurry from Anaheim is our pick. 
medium elite potential. There we go. Uh, Madison Bowie from Vancouver. Alright, go to Vancouver and we get do, 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 Madison Bowie's down here. Oh, missed him. There we go, Madison Bowie. Okay, and then let's see Sammy Votnin from the Dallas Stars. Sammy Votnin right there. Okay, Cody CC from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Actually, I have the Oilers right here. I get Tyson Berry from the Oilers. Yeah, Tyson Berry. And then uh, Cody CC from the Penguins, as I said. All right, it looks like we're going to have the cap space for everybody, so that's good. All right, CC right there. All right, there is CC. Okay, now we get to our goalie situation from Florida. We pick up Chris Dreger, who, you know, that is actually who Seattle took from Florida. So we get Dreger coming off a great season. But we come to Montreal, and of course, you guys know what I was saying. They need to take Gary Price out of Montreal. That's what I thought they should have done from the beginning. Then we come to New Jersey, and we get Aaron Dell. And then we go to Ottawa and get who Macklemore announced. Joey Decord. Joey Decord. All right. We have a player from each and every team. We have $13.245 million in cap space. And this is the team that I selected in my mock draft video. So let's see what we can do here. Draft interviews. I'm skipping it. I'm skipping the draft interviews. I don't really think that it's, uh, you know, worth it. Um, I can edit the trade block, really. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, let's see. Wants. We want first goalies, defense work. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't really ever mess with the trade block. I kind of, you know, do what I can. You know, when it's when it's available to me. Uh, what is our who's the what's the draft class looking like? I kind of forgot this draft class already. Uh, Brunstrom, McGella, Brunstrom, McLeod, Clark, Eklund. Why is Owen Power not in here? <gasps> Owen Power's not in here, is he? Because. He's not actually, like, signed to the team, so they don't have the rights for Owen Bauer. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I'm going to try and trade that pick. Try to trade for the first overall pick. If it was Owen, Owen Bauer, I might. But All right, they get McKella, who's an 84 overall center sniper archetype. Archetype, not archetype. We have Mats Brunstrom here, who they want me to take. Magic hands, goal scoring, skating, left wing slash right wing, A plus shooting, A plus buck skills, A senses, A skating, A minus physical, A defense, 18 years old, superstar, X factor, similar style to Bobby Hole. Floyd promise, you guys know how I am, I'm weird. I don't like it when they don't they don't have the faces, right? Makes you nervous and they don't have the faces. Um which is just what's this gem bust? He's a gem. This McLeod guy. Uh, you know, I just I don't like it that they don't have faces. So here's Eckland. Which but he's not as good, Backstrom. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I have to get Brunstrom, even though... Okay, what's it? Oh, his zone ability is 1T. Exceptional power and accuracy on one-timers. Greatly increases ability to one time less than ideal passes. 
His superstar abilities, he has Grease Crasher, advanced ability at growling, bouncing pucks off rebounds, increased shot accuracy on rebounds, puck on a string, advanced toe drag and stick handling speed, snipe, outstanding skill to settle pucks with advanced or shot accuracy off settled pucks, heat seeker, advanced power when taking wrist slash snapshots from distance. Alright, he's a, he is a no you know, portrait having guy, but welcome to the squad, Brunstrom, 82 overall, elite medium potential. Um, now I think what I want to do, let's come find a trade, and let's see who, who do we have that has value on this roster, Tarasenko, Giordano, because my thinking, what they should have done is gotten some of these older guys and then traded them for 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 picks and assets, right? That's that's what I was thinking. So let's see if we get the Anaheim Ducks. They have the third overall pick here, right? Yeah, I know I know how trades work. If I go to my trade value player here, yeah, yes, I know. I bet they don't want Bryce because Bryce is expensive, right? But so if I if I throw in Bryce, so can oh they do they can fit Bryce, Bryce for the third overall pick.
let's go elite low potential on Roddy. That's that was the right pick. That was the right pick. Uh, book checking is like perfect in this game. You, it's not an automatic like tripping penalty. Just if you try to stick check, it's so much better. It's so much better. All right, well, we have Kyle Brinkovic, Krinkovic. It's only 5'7", the left winger. We have this guy who's elite, low potential, 6'1", right winger. Um, we have an elite medium here. Moberg, Moberg, elite speed, offensive instincts. Elite mead, Joshua Waugh or Joshua Roy. Perhaps he's a center. So to go for this elite right winger, elite right winger, elite center, or elite left defense. You know, we've already got a defenseman. And in this case, a shutdown ability balanced defensive zone play. I think I'm going to go with the left defense, so I don't cancel. This guy's not lead medium, perhaps, and he's in right D and left D. Six foot three, two way defense, and with a heavy slap shot, explosive stride, and quickness. I'm taking this guy, Matier, Matier. Alright, top six D, medium. That's good, I'm good with that. Alright, let's go here, take our fourth round pick. What do we have on the table right here? We have a Glenny, who's AHL starter. Gretz, Hins. Is this guy Stefan Hornquist? He is a left D, medium elite. Heavy slap shot, goal scoring, offensive instincts. So we got an offensive D man there. This guy, Rhett Reinhardt, 6'3", 280. Heavy slap shot, size and strength, hard wrist shot. And we're they're pretty solid on this. Those are 3-3-2. Three, three, There's this Acton medium elite. Shutdown ability. Oh my god. This, so this is a two-star. This is a one-star, one-star. But this guy, Reinhardt, like they're the most sure on this guy, I think. But this guy... Reinhardt at 6'3", this guy is 6'2", but this guy has a picture, heavy slap shot, size and strength. But I mean, if these are accurate, his shooting, those are all one, that's, that's like a one accuracy, what's this, this is 3, 2, okay, they're more sure on this guy, he's got a B shooting, so I'm taking him. Red Reinhardt, top 6D, medium accuracy, so I'm not mad at that. Um... That fourth round pick. Let me take the other. See if I can take the other guy. See, see what they want for that. So let's go up to the New Jersey Devils, and let's go to draft picks, and let's go to their fourth round pick right here, and see if they want what they want for that. Uh, ne next year's fourth and this year's seventh. Yeah, I'll accept that trade. Okay, so we're on the clock right now. I'm just going to take that other guy I was looking at, uh, you know, just because if, if, if what they say about this guy is correct, uh, not this guy, this guy, then he'd be really good, you know. A, A, A minus, A minus, B, B minus, so I want to take this guy, Acton, and he's a top 60 meet, also 61 overall, so those guys have potential to be super solid, and let's go to our fifth round pick. Um, I'm not gonna trade my fifth for a sixth and a seventh. That's just, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, let's see, Chandler Sackage, Brock Corvin. This guy got balance quickness, balance passing ability quickness. Not really sure on that. This guy, Chandler Sackett, he's a grinder, left wing 5'10", but protection offensive instincts. Um, we know he's a good buck protector, this guy, we know he has... No, we can, I'm gonna take Sackett, Sackett. Let's take him, top 6 forward low, but top 9 forward low, that's, that's 
that's all right. Let's sim to pick 163, our sixth round pick. Now remember, we did just trade our seventh round pick, so we'll see. What's this? A Ethan Del Mastro. Uh, no weaknesses. We know he has a heavy slap shot. We know he's good at defensive zone play. He is six foot four, can play on both sides of the puck. It is medium elite potential one, but this is a two accuracy medium elite goalie six one. DeAndre Baker. Um, but we're two. I think I'm gonna go with this guy, El, Mais El Mastro. I think we're good in goal, but if this guy pans out, top sixty medium. All right. I mean, I'm not mad at that. And let's um, yeah, let's sim the entire draft. We have no more picks. The entry draft is now complete. We got Brunstrom, Roddy, Montier, or Mattier, Reinhardt, Acton, Sackick, and Del Mastro. Not mad at that at all. Uh, and we, you know, we gave up a fourth in next year's draft, but that's all right. I'm not really uh, gonna gonna cry over a fourth, you know, because if that, that guy pans out the next few years, then you know it's all it's all money. Who needs money? Tyson Berry needs money. He's a UFA. How much does he want? He wants six point. Uh, he wants six point five two five. I'm gonna come back to him later. Let's see, Vatnin. What does he want? He wants four. Richie wants four. I'm gonna give this to Richie because he's only twenty five. Okay. Let's sign Brunstrom. Offer him a contract. There we go. Okay. And let's come down here and let's sign. Go to CC. What is he going to want? He wants 2.1. We can get that done, no problem. Barclay Goodrow. He wants 2.1. I can do that. Uh, Vinny Anastroza. He's probably going to want 2.6. Okay, these ones I can just knock these all out. You know, this isn't a, I'm not really concerned about this. It's mostly the bigger ones. Brock McGinn, 1.4. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, do Roddy. Let's offer this guy a contract. All right. He's a 67 overall right now. Uh, I don't know how the system, I don't know what league he's in right now, but hopefully we can get him into the AHL, get him down to Palm Springs. Uh, and, you know, start developing him, but I don't know if we can get him in there right away or if we have to wait. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Alright, Sackick gets a contract, and uh, Del Mastro gets a contract. Oh, we also have one for Matier. Gotta get him in there, too. Alright, Matier. Uh, we gotta go goalies. I think all of our goalies are signed, right? No, Drieger and Delhart. Drieger wants four. I can do that for Drieger. He's worth it. I'm going to release Arendelle. All right, I'm releasing Arendelle. I'm going to advance a day. Everybody, I assume, should resign. Easy decision, easy decision, easy decision, easy, easy, easy. Honor to join your team. Ben and Dream of Mine to join this team. Dream of Mine, honor, dream, honor, dream. Perfect. Okay, now let's go look at our, our contract situation with those players signed. We have $8.5 million in cap. And we have to sign who? Two players. Right, just the two. Okay, 8.5 in cap. Uh, and what do they want? It's Barry and Vatnin. Uh, Barry is more important to me to keep. Yeah, offensive defenseman. He's just a better overall player. So what do you want? You want four years two, or four years six, and I have eight. Does he want the, could I do? Six years, but take this down to like five, or if I do seven years, four point seven two five. If I 
go after any free agents. I think I'm just going to, uh, nope, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to go into the season with this team, and that's going to be that. Uh, Bozak, uh, I don't really want Bozak, I don't think, I, I don't think I would, I don't think I would use Bozak to step on a third and a fourth, Derek step on for two thirds, the third and a half, basically paying a third for step on and a fourth. Um, well, let's take a look at Bozak real quick, could this guy, could this guy be a use to us, 1.4 million. He's 35, he's 35, and it said that he would probably go on our third line, I don't, I don't want to get a 35 year old third liner for a third, like I don't, I think if we actually are a contender and we're getting at the, we're at the trade deadline, I would rather use that third for a, a, a better player, but for Glenn Denning, it'd be interesting. Glenn Denning is 32. He would be on all of our PK lines and our third line. But again, we're, okay, so it's a third. So we're paying a third and a seventh for Glenn Denning and a fourth. I just don't really think that's worth it. I don't. I don't want to make my first trade be for a bottom six like penalty killer. I just. I don't think that's worth it. I'm just gonna keep simming. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna go for any of these trades. I think I'm. Just, I think I'm gonna stand pat until we get into the season, and then, based on how the season unfolds, I'll make my decision. Then, on what I want to do as far as trades are concerned. So let's look at our owner goals. I want you to acquire one first round pick for the upcoming draft. I want 23 sellouts this year to help establish our home ice. I want us to win our regular season home opener, and he wants us to get 18 road wins. Okay, those, are some, those are some pretty lofty goals. I'm not going to lie. Those are some pretty lofty goals. But, uh, off. Let's go off and let's do. Um, that coach preferred lines. So we have Brunstrom. That's Brunstrom, only 18 years old. That's our. That was our first round pick. And he's immediately coming up to our first line, left winger. That's insane. I mean, hey, that's solid. First line, left winger. With Max Domi in the center and Tarasenko off to the right. That's a really good top line. Our second line, we have Vinny Nestrosa with Alex Kalorn and Nick Ritchie. Then down here, we have Barclay Goodrow with Mason Appleton at center and Wayne Simmons at right wing. Then our fourth line, we have Colton Sissons, Connor Sheary, and Jonas Donskoy. Uh, I'm not mad about that at all, but do I want to swap Simmons and Donskoy? Nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it like this for the moment. I'll leave it like this. But I'm super excited about this top line, especially getting this young guy in right away. That's awesome. Let's go to defense. We have Giordano, of course, with Barry. Second one, second pair. We have Hayden Flurry with Troy Stetcher. And the third pair, we've got Cody CC and Carson Susie. Let's look at our extras. We have uh, oh, that's okay. Let's, our goalies, of course, we have Price and then Dreger. Then scratched, we got Richard Panic and Semdis Kirkinsons. So there you go. There you go. I'm super. I'm. You know, I think that's a really solid. I think mean, that's a really solid. Uh, lions. Let's go. Let's go do our captains. Let's go to our captains. Uh, Brunstrom is not getting an alternate. He is 18 years old. You're not giving an 18 year old the, the alternate, but you are giving Giordano the captain. I think that's a solid move. Uh, then let's go, let's go Tarasenko as an alternate. And let's go with, um, who should, who should be another alternate? Uh, let's go with, Let's go with Wayne Drain. Wayne 
Simmons will be our other alternate. I think that's solid. Wayne Train. All right, done. We're done with that. And wow, we're gonna we we right here into the preseason opener. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play the preseason. I think I'm going to sim up to the regular season. But that will do it for this video. The next video is going to be the first game of the regular season for the Seattle Kraken. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I really want to turn this into a series, so I hope this gets a good response. If you liked the video, please, please, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this every single day. Until next time, bye-bye.